Well, the first set of Year 11 and 12 curricula for the Australian curriculum have now been released. English, Mathematics, Science and History, four English courses, four Mathematics courses, four Science courses and two History courses after quite substantial consultation. We put out a first draft for the, the first set and on the basis of comments back, revised them, put them back out for another consultation and have now produced these final versions. And they're now about to be taken to the next stage. These ACARA senior secondary curricula will now fit into quite varied state arrangements. In each of the states there are authorities that run the assessment systems with external exams or other means that pro provide the reports to students on their performance and provide the certification arrangements. And, and these have to fit into that. They can't disrupt that. You can't expect states to run parallel arrangements. So they'll actually provide a common and agreed basis now for states working out what to do with them. And ACARA is going to work bilaterally with each of the states to determine the ways in which these new curricula will be integrated into courses in the states. And we're committed to reporting back to ministers at the end of 2013 on the progress uh, towards that integration. And timelines for adoption of courses in the states. Because at the senior secondary level there are quite strong rules about how much notice has to be given to students coming through years 9, years 10 about what they will face in 11 and 12. So the first step on an important but long process. The first strength I see is actually in the formal organisation of the curriculum document itself. There are three strands that are, will be covered and the elaboration of each of those strands is very clear. I see it as a great advantage not only for experienced teachers but also for beginning teachers. The Senior Secondary Science curriculum has been clearly based on really important key concepts in science. What that does, it actually gives the curriculum a real structure um, which is consistent across the subjects. I think having a national senior secondary science curriculum from the point of view of an organisation like CSIRO, which is where I work, is that we can actually get students thinking about the big national issues for Australia and how science can help us to solve them and better understand them. The benefits for the teachers are that in the writing, all of the Australian states and territory documents were considered, all of the current literature has been considered and international curriculum have been considered. So we've taken the best of the best, combined it into the Australian context and so teachers know that what they're getting is quality guidance for their own teaching. I think one of the main benefits for teachers of having this national curriculum is that they're teaching what their colleagues around Australia are teaching in science, but it's enabling them to embed it in their local context. So for students, they're going to be engaged no matter whether they're learning this in a state, a territory, whether they're beside the coast, whether they're in inland Australia, um, whether they're in the middle of a city. Um, the contexts are going to be determined by the teachers and that's going to let the students learn the science that is really important to Australia, but in a way that's relevant to them. I think the greatest benefit of the Senior Secondary Science curriculum for the students is going to be that they're going to become much more engaged and much more interested, much more inspired by the course. They can look at the science in the context of their local area, in the context of current issues and in the context of solving specific problems that they're going to undoubtedly be faced with as they move through their life. The benefits to students are that I think it gives them the opportunity to have some really fantastic conversations across the country as well. So when they're all engaged in sort of core areas of science together and that is common across all the states, there's an opportunity for them to engage in projects together. They can also look at what's the same and what's different. So kids in WA would probably have a very different view about minerals than kids in Tasmania, for example. Um, similarly, uh, uh, country kids would have different views about water than kids in the city. 
but they're both looking at those sorts of things within their science curriculum and so it gives them fantastic opportunities for conversations and collaboration. Mm -hmm.